The PlayStation Store is running a games under $20 sale, and I told you guys that I would look at it a little bit more in depth on top of the quick glance that I gave to you guys because the deals were kind of all over the place. Looking at the store page right now, it seems like Sony finally updated their PlayStation Store page and the games under $20 sale. All those titles are live. So let's talk about some of the best deals where we'll specifically be looking at games under the price of $10 since I know a lot of you guys are picking up PlayStation 5s and PlayStation 5 games so you guys might be on a little bit of a tight budget so without further ado let's get right into it. I want to kick things off with Little Big Planet 3. It's 50% off for $9.99 kind of commemorating the release of Sumo Digital's uh, Sackboy A Big Adventure. Little Big Planet 3 was also done by Sumo Digital and it's kind of the Little Big Planet title that's forgotten about many times. However, it still offers a quality platforming experience. I don't know why Little Big Planet 3 kind of was pushed to the wayside. Maybe people got a little bit tired of the formula. I am not entirely sure, but I still had a good time with Little Big Planet 3. I always have enjoyed the Little Big Planet titles going to 08's Little Big Planet, played the game on PSP, PlayStation Vita. They're all really good. And this one adds to the pile for $9.99. Maybe you're missing out on Sackboy A Big Adventure waiting for that to go on sale because it is a full price $60 title. Well, Little Big Planet 3 for $10 I think is a pretty good buy. Rogue Galaxy is 47% off for $7.94. Rogue Galaxy was one of those PS2 JRPGs that I really Really enjoyed it was done by level 5 a studio that may or may not be doing games over here in the states we shall see how that uh, situation unfolds really hope that isn't the case but rogue galaxy was a great game and it employed a really good art style that has aged really really well so even if you're diving into this game in 2020 i feel like the uh, visuals at least hold up rather well there's a lot of gameplay in this one like it is a lengthy lengthy game from my recollection on the PlayStation 2 when I originally played it. I have it on PlayStation 4, but I haven't completed it at this point just because it is such a long game, but 47% off, I thought that was a pretty good buy. Watch Dogs 2, next up, 80% off for $9.99. Of course, Watch Dogs Legion just came out, but that is still $60, although it will be $30 very soon. Watch Dogs 2 for $10, I think, is a pretty good buy. There is a demo available if you'd like to check it out. I thought Watch Dogs 2 was a much better game than Watch Dogs 1. Watch Dogs 2 a little bit goofy at times, but I like the game a lot better from a mechanical standpoint, and I thought it did a good job improving upon Watch Dogs 1. I think Watch Dogs 1, unfortunately, did some damage to the series in terms of it reaching the potential it originally had, because I remember the hype leading into the release of the first game, and it was enormous. And I just don't feel like Watch Dogs 2 or Watch Dogs Legion really captured that hype level that Watch Dogs 1 initially had. Nevertheless, Watch Dogs 2 I thought was pretty good, and for 10 bucks I think it's a good buy. If nothing else, try out that demo and you can make your decision from there. Next up, another Ubisoft titles. Next couple games are actually Ubisoft titles. Uh, Rayman Legends is $4.99. Rayman Legends is a fantastic platformer. If you want a great platformer on PlayStation 4, this is a really, really good one. Great visual style, and of course, these Rayman titles that are just amazing platformers have unfortunately gone to the wayside. Rayman Origins was incredible. Rayman Legends, in my opinion, is even better. If you want something that has a bit of nostalgia, but also modernizing uh, platform and gameplay, I think Rayman Legends is so good, man. I don't know what it is. Did these games not sell well enough to justify consistent releases of these Rayman style games and, you know, this platforming style? I don't know. Maybe that's the case. If it is, well, do yourself a favor and help out uh, getting another Rayman game out the door for five bucks. Rayman Legends is such a good buy, so I'd give that a strong recommendation. Next up, we gotta get some Assassin's Creed in here. Assassin's Creed Rogue Remastered is $9.89, while AC4 Black Flag is $8.99. I wanna mention both of them. AC4, I imagine the majority of you guys have played. Uh, if you haven't, it's an incredible game. In my opinion, this might be my favorite Assassin's Creed game. I kind of go back and forth, but I, I, I would think AC4 is my favorite. I mean, Edward Kenway is probably my favorite character in the entirety of Assassin's Creed. And uh, AC4 itself is just a fantastic game. I know people are partial towards AC2, but just compare the two games side by side. I think AC4 is just fundamentally a better game. It has a great story. Visuals are stunning in this game. Absolutely stunning. And of course, the naval combat is quite good as well. AC Rogue also want to give that a shout um you know i said i loved edward i think shay is also one of the better uh main characters in an assassin's creed game and ac rogue was one that kind of got forgotten about unlike ac4 most people know about ac4 a lot of people don't know about ac rogue ac rogue is a good title kind of a different take on the assassin's creed storyline with you going a different pathway, but I still really, really enjoyed the game. Story is incredibly intriguing, and I was pretty invested into it. Real-life uh, scenarios in any Assassin's Creed game, I'm sorry, I'm just not a big fan of everything with the animus and, you know, everything in real life. Like, I don't know why we can't just keep these games to the historical element of it that 
element of the game I feel like is so dated. I get it why they did it back in the day with like the Desmond arc and things like that. But I really think after AC3, they should have just left that to the side and just stopped doing that. Whatever they want to do. I guess they feel like it's a core element of these games and they have to keep it in. Nevertheless, I think AC Rogue's a great game. I think AC4 is a great game. Both of them are worthwhile. I imagine the majority of you guys have already played AC4, but if you haven't played AC Rogue, give that a shot too. Naval Combat in this one is quite good as well. And you guys know me, the classic Assassin's Creed style gameplay is something that I always get into, so yeah, wanted to give that a shout. Next up, Bluepoint Games just celebrated the release of Demon Souls Remake. How about Shadow of the Colossus Remake? Well, that's 50% off for $9.99. I know some of you guys got this as a PlayStation Plus freebie. If you didn't, SOTC, man, it is done justice by Bluepoint Games. This is the game that came out, and I was like, okay, after playing SOTC Remake, I was sure that Bluepoint was going to do Demon Souls uh, justice just because the SOTC remake was incredible. SOTC was a game that when it released back on the PlayStation 2, it was so ahead of its time from a visual standpoint. The scale of the game it was going for, it was just way ahead of its time and maybe that was almost to a fault, but people still considered SOTC one of, if not the best PlayStation 2 game ever. But on the PlayStation 4, it really, really felt at home. Visuals are excellent. The game is absolutely stunning and at 9 9 I think it's a great buy. So definitely do give that a look. Next up, Just Cause 3, 80% off for $3.99. If you want open world, no nonsense, fun, Just Cause 3 is a blast to play, no pun intended. This game had a litany of issues when it originally came out back in, I believe, 2015, December of 2015? Since then, it has gotten much better. I would ideally recommend you guys to cop the Just Cause 3 XXL edition with some additional content. That is not on sale right now, so if you want to get the base game for 4 bucks, I don't think it's the worst buy in the world. Again, no nonsense, open world fun. The narrative is not going to keep you hooked. The story of Rico Rodriguez is not this emotional roller coaster that is going to have you on the edge of your seat. But the action gameplay, oh hell yeah, that is a lot of fun. Next up, South Park, The Stick of Truth, 67% off for $9.89. This is a game that I remember leading up to its release. I want to say it was 2013 or 2012. Uh, I was like, bro, South Park in the form of a traditional RPG. And bear in mind, I've never been a gigantic South Park fan. I've watched a few episodes here and there when, you know, friends are over and we get like hammered or whatever. Uh, but I've never been a consistent South Park watcher. But playing The Stick of Truth... I didn't have to be a fan. This game was absolutely hilarious, and I had a blast playing this. If you just want a game that fundamentally has good RPG gameplay, I mean, this is a well-made RPG, but then what really puts it over the top is the humor, and maybe that's just the South Park humor that I've been missing out on, you know, consistently all my life, but I thought they did it so well in an RPG. Yes, it's not that, you know, RPG narrative that, say, a JRPG is going to offer you that has amazing character development and over-the-top emotional moments, but this is just a hilarious RPG, and for $9.89, I give that a hell of a recommendation. Would highly, highly suggest you guys to play that. Next up, Vampire is 75% off for $9.99. Another game that caught me by surprise, done by Don't Not Entertainment. I won't say that the game is perfect. Uh, Gameplay-wise, uh, leaves a lot to be desired, but I thought the narrative was really strong. I thought the voice acting was great. I thought the atmosphere was done really, really well. Visually, it's okay, but I think for $9.99, it's a really good pickup. I picked it up, like, right when it came out, and I had a great time playing it at launch. And then they updated the game, and they made, like, uh, a story-based mode, where if you just want to go through the game with, uh, you know, enjoying the narrative, you can do that now. So that makes the game a lot more enjoyable. There were times uh, when I was initially playing the game back when it originally came out where it got relatively difficult for me and I had to like level up and do side quests and things like that. Uh, but now you could like naturally just play through the game and have a good time with it, enjoying the narrative. So $9.99 for it, I think is pretty good. Lastly, Gravity Rush 2 for $9.99. It's 50% off. Gravity Rush Remastered is also around the same price. You should buy both these games. These games are incredible. Gravity Rush 1, of course, originally released on the PlayStation Vita, then it was remastered on the PlayStation 4. GR2 uh, made ground up for the PS4, and Gravity Rush 2 obviously expands the game quite a bit more than Gravity Rush 1 could. Gameplay is great, characters are lovable, visuals are stunning, has such a great art style that even in 10 years from now, I think you're going to be able to go back and play Gravity Rush just because it employs this very, very artistic visual uh, presentation, and it just looks great. Music is good can't say enough good things about Gravity Rush. The people that have played Gravity Rush and know what I'm talking about, it is just fantastic. We probably won't ever get a Gravity Rush 3 because the game didn't do that well from a commercial standpoint, but I implore you, if you've never played Gravity Rush, pick up both the titles. Gravity Rush 2 in particular is incredible, and for 10 bucks, it is such a good buy, so check that out. That's going to conclude this video. Again, this under $20 sale is pretty good, but we are coming up on Black Friday. We are coming up on a bunch of holiday deals that will be coming up, so if you don't decide to pick anything up, I, I'm going to keep reiterating 
trading, don't worry, there's going to be a lot of great deals to come. That's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.